said, how you doing, Brother Jones? Oh, I'm doing okay. I got off the ride, you know. And then, you know, old man off, old man off, I got this. And then I get in my arm. I can't get over my arm. But he still got a cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> Faith is the thing that you cannot see. Faith is the 
such a thing that you cannot do. Amen, Bishop. Amen. You can't see faith. Amen. You can't see the thing that you're wishing for. Amen. Yes. So we all looking for a job. Amen. 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 First of all, you got to have faith to get it. Amen. And the Bible said faith without works is dead. Right. You cannot lay down or sit down, run the house, and looking for a job in Calipilla. Amen, Bishop. Amen. You got to go where Calipilla has got that quick to You got to go. Am I right? Amen. You got to go where it's at. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can sit there all day. I can sit up in that pew all day. I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to demonstrate this thing. I can sit here all day and say, I'm going home 1230. I'm sitting right here. I'm going to 1230. Tomorrow at 1230, I'll be sitting right here. Amen. That's right, Bishop. Amen. And if you got a, a desire to get a job or whatever you got a desire to do, you got to get the pad and get the get, Go get it. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Promise they come. Promise they come in. Go to this one. Go to that one. And you sit there. Oh, man. Uh, Apostle prophesied. He promised I'm going to get a car. He promised I'm going to get a car. Amen. You can say that next year. Mm -hmm. But if you don't That's make right. preparation by getting that car, you don't say the, the, the promise that he gave you wasn't wrong. Amen. He didn't lie. Amen. If, you, if Apostle prophesied to me as the bishop, the Lord showed me when you're going to get a car. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start going and get my simple plan. Right. I got a driveway. I'm gonna go clean my driveway on. Faith or not, faith or not, works in the dead. I'm gonna clean the driveway up. What are you doing, Bishop? I'm cleaning my driveway. For what? Apostle said the Lord will bless me with a car. Amen. I got to have some way to park it. Amen. Amen. The Lord said he's gonna give you a job. Well, the Lord said he's gonna give you a job. Where you see he's gonna give you a job at? He didn't say. You see he's gonna give you a job. Then you go look. Amen. By faith. I'm going to wait where I take you behind there. Then you seek the Lord and ask God, and he'll tell you where to go. Amen, Bishop. Amen. Amen. Go to looking. Amen. Get yourself a pet. Some of you old ladies and some of you men looking for wives. <coughs> I'm going to get married. I'm going to get married. But you got to prepare yourself for marriage. That's right. You know, you got a deal. Start paying your bills off. Amen, Amen. Bishop. Amen. You know, you got that little black book. Tear it up. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Get rid of some of that baggage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to? You know, 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 the Adam's one must ain't making too much money. We ain't gonna make. And you ain't married no Rockefeller star with, lady. Amen, Bishop. <laughs> you know, we ain't got no black Rockefellers. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you be looking funny. funny. And you know, he ain't got no college degree. That's right, Bishop. Amen. He don't know no trade. So, what are you gonna be doing commonly? Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something, baby. I'm still preaching. I'm talking about faith. You know, it don't hurt you to check out the thing before you marry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first thing you need to check out, check out his hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got, if you got to check him, you ask to go to the clinic. Then you some, you know, make sure he's okay. Amen. You know, that's Talking faith. Amen. Amen. Read a, a, 
uh, young man. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Mm -hmm. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. What the word? How did, how did the word came into existence? By the word of God. The Lord spoke into existence. Amen. Mm -hmm. He stepped out in nothing. Mm -hmm. just, just, just step right out of there. And create a word. With his mouth, with his word. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Words are powerful. That's right, Bishop. It's one thing. That's why you go over and tell you, you may think before you speak. That's right. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we say some things that are real hateful to folks, and we don't think about it until you know what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. And you hurt them in the heart. Amen. Think before you speak. Amen. God created the world by the body, by the body, by his word. Right. Mm -hmm. And everything he created, he had to speak into existence because there wasn't nothing. Amen. Amen. His word. That's why it's very important that you get his word in you. Yeah. That's why you told him back then when you read the uh, other, other book of Mark when you say, uh, have faith in God. Whatever you say, right. you should have what you say. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you believe, you, if somebody tells you, if you feel that you're sick in your body and we pray for you, then you got to believe that you got your healing. Amen. 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 Now we can pray for two hours and you still. Amen. <laughs> Bishop. And I heard a pastor say Friday night, it's a call to your faith. Yes. Believe by the call to your faith. Because sometimes you pray for folks, you don't get no reaction at all. That's right, Bishop. We got a blank space on the faith. Right. You know, I was watching one time, you be praying, you just a black expression. There's a blank expression, you don't have you don't get no reaction or nothing. Because you know what? That is one of your beliefs. That's right, Bishop. Sometimes it comes by the teaching name of God. Amen. Most times people talk down to them so much that they make them feel like God don't love them and you don't care about them. Mm -hmm. And so if you pray for them, you're not going to get the healing. Amen, Bishop. Yeah. Most times people won't get saved because somebody done laid them out so bad. Done talk about them so bad. Amen. <coughs> That's why when you go out and witness, you want to, you got to be in the spirit, but uh, have to be led by the Holy Spirit yes. to even witness. Amen. Amen. You have to remember one thing. One, one time that you just like them. So if you don't have compassion, that's why most of us we have to pick the people that go out and witness. Amen. Amen, Bishop. Amen. You don't need to be going out there condemning nobody. Amen. That's right. Hey Amen. I know you. I know you. Know, I know you. You, you been a party last night. You were drunk. You been drunk all the time. No, no, she don't want to hear that. Amen, Amen. Bishop. If you got an automobile and you slip off the highway in the ditch, you don't want nobody coming and tell you, "Hey, Larry, you in the ditch." <laughs>
to you by God, but you give you the same thing. Amen. It was given to you, got a certain amount of faith. Amen. Before you got saved, you had faith. Amen. You had to hear the word of God, and when you heard the word, that faith that you was already in you, believe what the word said, and you got saved. It activated because it was already there. Yes. Amen. 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 That's how you got faith. Now read on with my, my, in the chapter, chapter one. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth yes. the Lord Jesus, uh -huh. yes. and shall believe in thine heart yes. that God has raised him from the dead, mm -hmm. thou shalt be saved. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all believe that? Amen. Amen. By faith. You ain't seen God. You ain't seen the spirit. Amen, Bishop. But you believe what the word says. Yes. Yes. Amen. We all have a certain amount of faith. Uh -huh. yes. Before you were saved. Mm -hmm. And the Lord give us faith according to his will, according to the way he wants to do it. Yes. Some folks have more faith than others. Yes. But that don't make you no more saving than the person. Amen. You just got more, more stronger belief in more stronger, and you believe stronger than somebody else does. Amen. But you a bit more, you ain't a bit more saved than the other person now. Right. Took the same amount of faith to get me saved and they did to get a bishop over there saved. Amen. No more, no less. Yeah. The Bible says we walk by faith. That's right. Not by sight. Amen. That's what gets us in trouble all the time. Because we look at the situation through your you're not looking through your spiritual eyes. You look through your regular eyes. Amen. Your natural eyes. And you look, and it's natural. Amen. When you look and see the big picture through your Physical eye. Yes. Your natural eye. But when you're walking by faith, you don't even see it. That's right. But you see it in the spirit. Yes. You don't see none of these lies here. Uh -huh. I'm going to give you a good example. I'm going to be 10 minutes and I'm, I'm, I'm finished. <laughs> Listen. When the Lord gave me the, 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 the vision about the church, Amen. we were looking for land Amen. by faith. Amen. I came over here. And all down through that blue snow, just like you see out there back over there now. Mm -hmm. But it was bigger, it had trees bigger than that. Mm -hmm. But I saw this church sitting here. Amen. Do y'all understand? Amen. I, I, I walked across the land, but what left out here? The skunk. Am I right, Lewis? Skunk. Snake. Deal. Rat. Whatever you want to call it, was out here. Amen, Bishop. And I walked out here on the thing with Bri Brian's out here, big old, big old brother Brian, Brian, and they were all out here. And it wasn't out here but footpath. And I walked all over this thing. And, and this is what came to me. Boy, you was in a good ground. This a fishing place. And fishing all over there. Amen. All over there, say, oh God. And what, no one out here, no church, no way out here. You see why he did? I saw this church. I'm going to tell you the first place I saw it. I was in Kernersville. I saw this church and looked at this like this right here. Amen, Bishop. Amen. When I went by it, I went by it like this on the back side of it. Uh -huh. The doors that you see here were just the same way you see them now. There was a door over there, there was one over here. Amen. And there was double doors at the front. The only different was the carpet was blood red. Like that. It, it was dark red. The carpet in it. I saw it. And the Lord said, Bill. I ain't had nobody but my family. Bless you, Bishop. I had Felicia, Joan, and my daughter that went home to be with the Lord, and my wife. And I am. Lord. Yes. Amen. Eight people. Bless you, Bishop. Amen. And we came over here, and, we, and it was, I was still on the old Mexican road. Okay. Hey, and then after a while, the church started growing. Mm -hmm. Got about 56 or 57 people. And when we talk about building, we started leaving the ships like, like rats. Amen, Bishop. We started leaving the church like, like, like I'm telling you, when we left them over there, me and my grandson right there moved everything we had Amen. on Old Lexington Road. We ain't got that much, but we had the Lord. Amen, Bishop. Amen. Amen. But let me tell you all something. Before all that came about, I, I caught so much hell that I started questioning God. Lord, is you show that you sent me over? I'm asking God, is he show? Amen. Is you sure you sent me over here? Ain't no ain't that over here. I can't get nobody to help me. Everybody that I get what they rip me off. Those people that 
down the road down there, put the, put the city on me. Amen. The man told my pastor I was in the church. Amen. We came in here and had service one Sunday, and we, and we were talking about it last night. Had a good service. Uh-huh. Left here, and the next day, that Monday, the man came out here and told me, he said, we heard that you had service in that church. And you had to sleep over there in the cold. I said, man, we had service, but nobody ain't no cold. I had a big old, one old big kerosene blower back there. And we man, put that thing on there, blow the church, the church was heat blowing up in here. 80 or 90 degrees, and we got it here. But they lied on me. And the man talked about padlock in the church. Now you say, now some people say, where are you, you with your faith? It was the same place it was. I still believe in God. Amen. 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 I was standing here when it wasn't nothing here but mud. Amen. I was standing right here with nothing but mud. And I was, and I was, Lord, what is number three is this? And the man that was building it, he was ripping off too. And I said, Lord, how long am I going to get in here? I started crying. I cried a many days. Amen. Amen. You don't know when you, <laughs> if y'all, I, 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 I ain't going to say I wish you. But I wish you had the experience. Some of the things that I had the experience to get in this room. <laughs>
and the robe, and I'll put on all that. And, and then put the hat on and all this. And then get somebody to go to your briefcase. I said, what on that for, son? That's what the bishop does. I said, yeah? I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to get a question. I said, you read the story about Jesus and walking the streets of Galilee and all those places? Yeah. I said, what's on his briefcase? Amen. Where's his bishop robe at? Amen. The Bible teaches me that Jesus, Jesus pulled off his royal robe and left it in heaven. Yes. And he put on flesh in the flesh of a man. Amen. And he came and walked this earth for 32 and 10 months. A year. Yes. As a man. Yes. He was a flesh of a man. Very God and very man. Yes. He died a death of a man. Yes. He rolled the son of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. You see, he ain't going to put his robe back on until we get there. Amen. Amen, Bishop. And then we got to put the crown on him. Uh -huh. Ain't that what the book say? Amen. Ain't that what the book say we got the crown of Lord, Lord? Blessed be so. Amen. Yes. We got the crown of righteousness. That's what they're talking about. Yes. The crown of righteousness. Yes. And when we get there, we're going to crown him Lord, Lord. Yes. Yes. And king of kings. Yes. And them 400 of the elders bow down to him. Amen. He's going to be bowing down to him. All day long, he's going to knife him. All day long, he'd be bowing down and saying, glory. And come back up. When he get back up like this, he'd be up here somewhere else like this. <laughs> and he go back down again and say, glory. Yes. 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 How we going to live? By faith. Amen. You walk this walk by faith. Yes. Whatever you need, whatever you say, by faith. Yes. Amen. Uh -huh. Your salvation depends on your faith. Amen. Your healing depends on your faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. In the 16th chapter of the book of Mark, this is the last chapter, this is the last verse. In the 16th chapter of the book of Mark, and the 15th verse, he said, These signs shall follow them that believe. That's it. Yes. <coughs> Amen. 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 These signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. Not the apostle, not the bishop, That's it. not That's the potentate. Amen. Huh? Amen. Not the pope. That's right. Not the priest. Uh -huh. These signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. That means the people in the pew. That's right. You was born again believer. Amen. You was born to be able to do the same thing that the apostles all of us do. Yes. Amen. 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 First thing he said, you should cast out devils. Yes. 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 You shouldn't be no devil running around your house and you come out here and tell me about it. Amen. You know how the devil can give you trouble all day. No, the devil will give you trouble. He give you angels. That's right. Amen. But you want to have enough power, enough faith that yes. you can cast them out of your house, yes. and out of your children, out of your wife, and everybody else. Amen. 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 You shouldn't have walked around all day, all night with a head. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you're a believer, Amen. you ain't got no business. You aching all over all the time. Amen. That's right. You ain't got no business sitting up in a spirit filled church. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Five and six years, ten years. You... Come on now. Bless you, bless you. Amen. You hurt. Amen. There ought to be some healing take place. Yes. Somebody ought to be, somebody ought to be a miracle happening to me. Am I right about it? For the faith. Yes. Somebody ought to get delivered. Yeah. Amen. 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 You shouldn't be cutting and busting five years if you got saved.
But you ain't got to deal with the same thing over and over again every, every year. Amen. Some you only get the little for some of that stuff. Amen. You ain't got to be the one up in there with a prayer line every Sunday. Amen. Yeah. 